Aries, what's going on? It's Deb with Goddess of the Moon Tarot. I hope that you guys are doing well. I hope that this reading finds you safe. I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle up the deck and get started. All right, so this is for Aries. This is all aspects. If you are new here and you uh, have been resonating with any of these stories, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and also hit the post notification bell on the way out, okay guys? I would appreciate the energy exchange. All right. I know it's weird having this headset on. I'm trying to um, figure out what I'm gonna use for audio. I actually wanna get a whole new device. So for right now, this is what we got, guys, okay? So we got the Knave of Swords studying researching maybe someone's studying you so maybe someone is maybe you're doing some research let's see what's going on aries this mic is like right on my lip okay let's see aries either you guys see me with the headset on or I do faceless re faceless readings again so also if you're new here and you want to know the names of my decks when I post in my Instagram link and also I do have a cash app if you guys want to um, donate you don't have to but if you feel led to it's there in the description box below okay what the five of swords whoa this is a lot of conflict okay but i feel like you're getting away from it the five of swords and the knave of swords hmm. yeah look <laughs> six of swords you're getting away from it i figured you were okay let's see what's going on aries Okay, Aries. So we're leading off with the Six of Swords. Then we got the Strength card. The Temperance card. The Two of Discs. The Ten of Swords. The Prince of Cups. And the Ten of Discs. Okay, so Aries, I feel like you're in your strength and in your power. You're definitely, you know, moving away with a lot of strength. You have a lot of confidence in wherever, whatever you're doing to get away. I feel like it is going to take a lot of balance and you're trying to move on with a clear head focused. You don't want to have um, anger, okay? I feel like you might actually be taking finances and kind of keeping them to yourself or it might be kind of seems like it's kind of hard to come up with your finances right now but the ten of swords is this going to end okay something that has been putting you in the juggle mode is going to end i feel like there this might be connected to why it happened with the prince of cups i feel like someone might be coming to try to apologize for something that happened but then the ten of this is saying that you have a very financially blessed or financially financial stability that's coming through for your legacy okay all right what's the six of swords for aries locks doing what they want to do today <laughs> Yeah, look, stability. Yeah, you're moving away. You're going towards your stability, your happiness, what makes you feel, you know, stable. And you're going within with your strength, your integrity, okay? What's the strength card? Wow, yeah. Eight of Chalice, 
moving away with strength. Look, you're taming your beast. You're taming the inner beast and you're emotionally moving away. And I think that's why you're temperancing yourself out. You probably are very upset and angry about whatever the situation is that you're moving away from, but you know that moving and moving away, you are exhibiting your strongest strength to get away from this. What is the temperance card? Five of Chalice. We got the Eight of Wands in reverse. Let me see what this card is, y'all. I'd like to cheer up. And then the Moon card. Ooh. Okay. So, I feel like there might be this individual, this Prince of Cups individual might be coming to try to speak to you but I feel like you're not going to accept their um, conversation or whatever it is. It's like it's being held up because of the moon. So it might be some secrets or something that's going on and this person wants to like basically spill the beans but they can't because you're not communicating with them or you're blocking off you know some form of communication and now this is causing this person to feel very regretful maybe there was something that they were supposed to do and they didn't they didn't do what they were supposed to do so now they're in the five of chalice energy okay what's the two of this That one flew over my shoulder almost. Hmm. Right shoulder. The Knave of Pentacles. Dropping these cards. Ooh, Seven of Swords reversed. The King of Pentacles reversed. And the Four of Swords. Yeah, somebody was doing something sneaky. Maybe they stole something from you. Maybe someone stole something from you and they thought they got away with it, but they didn't because now this person is losing terribly. And what's crazy about it is if they did conspire with someone else to take something from you, those same people are stealing from them. Yeah, that's probably why you had the two of discs right here. That's why I said I feel like you're holding back or you're juggling or you don't have enough finances because you're heading towards this. You're 10 of discs, but maybe presently you have to heal to get that with the four of wands. But yeah, it might have been a Capricorn. It could have been Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or it could have been any sign, but somebody is, they're doing badly with this finance, whoever it was that stole from you. I feel thief energy. Okay, they definitely betrayed you. They definitely did something. Um, even probably stole it from your child. Okay, but the Ten of Swords, you put a death to it, so it's over with. You don't, you don't want to deal with this anymore. Okay, what's the Ten of Swords? Yeah, Chariot card. You're moving fast. What's this? Mm, two of Swords. So that means that you're moving away and you're not telling anybody where you're going. Like, I feel like whoever I'm talking to, you're if you're not, you need to move away and don't tell anyone, okay? Keep it to yourself because I feel like there might be some people behind you that are trying to find out where you are and stuff like that. But with this Chariot card, and the two of swords coming out that's saying move move in silence don't let anybody know or see what you're doing okay the prince of cups what's this knave of pentacles oh yeah this person feels bad because they realize that they took some finances from a child. Maybe this person wasn't seeing it as that. Maybe you're a single parent and you're the only sole, you know, um, 
breadwinner and so this person took from you which in essence took from your child but then we got the sacrifice card in reverse so this person has become enlightened about that that whatever it was that they did the sacrifice that they made or whatever decision they made there they have woken up to what it is this person that wants to they they feel regret I don't feel apology I feel like this person just feels regret I don't even think that they want to apologize but because that happened the ten of this is coming your way Aries okay let's see what's the ten of this you guys have been getting a lot of energy of theft like people trying to get over on y'all fit um, with your finances yeah look at that justice card Libra Libra energy the Sun card in reverse mmm justice is gonna be served okay Justice is gonna be served somebody's not happy about it being served but it doesn't matter because the ten of discs is right here so your finances is going to be repaired also you're going to have abundance that's going to continue with your legacy this is your justice okay the justice card is here so yeah they're going to get a no even if this person wanted to apologize to you you're not interested they don't bring the happiness that you need in your life so that's a no all right so this is what i got for you aries i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like comment subscribe share hit the post notification bell on the way out and i will talk to you guys later deuces